Is that okay? Yeah. We're going to do it anyway. I just want to make sure you're with me. We're going to do it on this old-timey looking microphone by this old-timey looking lead singer. I love this song. It's simply entitled, Waiting on Jesus.
you will have a beautiful audience to sing to. <laughs> Brother Tim, you're right, they're beautiful. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> Do me a favor. Look at the person sitting beside you. Look them in the eye and tell them they're beautiful. <laughs> Lord have mercy on some of Tell you you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're a good friend of mine back there. I look at that same person and say, I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh -uh. My name's Willie, not Silly. I ain't going there. Let me see the hands again. I didn't get to see the hands. This is your very first time to see three bridges in person. Look at this, boys. This is awesome. Oh, hold it high. The first time to see us in person and you want to give a thousand dollars to our ministry. <laughs> let me introduce the guy. So let me tell you this. You're looking at three men that have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And we say, God, we love you. We give him all the praise and glory for what he's done in our lives. Singing the tenor part for the group. Now that's that high part if you're not uh, familiar with the term tenor. He is one of the finest tenor vocalists in all of Christian music. He is also a licensed, ordained minister. And he, he always looks at the crowd. If they don't respond too good to our singing, he'll tap me on the shoulder and say, I need to, I need to preach to this bunch. <laughs> Thanks for responding tonight. <laughs> now, he is a southern boy. He's from Birmingham, Alabama. Would you please make him welcome? This is Jeremy Hudson. Have anybody in here from Alabama? Here, put that there, Jimmy. God help me. I mean, God bless you. <laughs> Jeremy Hudson spent 10 years as the tenor vocalist for the world renowned group called the Imperials. How many remembers the Imperials? You are in for the treat. One more time, let them know you love them. Jeremy Hudson. Singing the lead for the group is another outstanding uh, vocalist. He's one of the best that you'll ever have the privilege of hearing. He is also a tremendous Christian man. Now, we travel all over North America in that big old bus out there, and I watch this young man daily, daily studying the Word of God. That's a good thing, amen? amen. He doesn't just read the Word, he knows the Word. He is also a licensed, ordained minister. Now, he knows the word, he's a good man, but he does have an issue in his life that troubles this southern boy. He's a Yankee. <laughs> he's from Syracuse, New York. <laughs> Anybody here from New York? Oh, look at this guy I'm helping you all. I mean, bless you all, Rich. He's been on the bus talking about Big Orange, whoever that is, Syracuse University. But this young man, he is also a licensed ordained minister, and he, he knows how to preach. But uh, I'll tell you the truth. He had to move south to learn how to sing. I, I ain't making that up. He studied music at the University of South Carolina. He can actually sing opera. Anybody here like opera? Look at this. Oh, wow. Well, I don't like it, so we ain't going to sing it. <laughs> oh, this young man also spent six years as the lead vocalist for the Imperials. One more time, let him know you love him. Shannon Smith. In the back of the house, running the sound system for the group and the uh, we think that's very important. We carry a full-time sound man, even though it costs a lot of money to do so. He eats a lot. He eats a lot, yeah. But he, uh, we think it's important to try to balance the sound and keep everybody as happy as we can. And uh, if it's too loud for you, uh, we'll try to bring her down. If it's not loud enough, we'll try to bring it up. No, we're just going to do the best we can with it, okay? But this young man is a delight. He's from Nashville, Tennessee. He's 20 years old. 
You got socks on older than that. At least you got some socks on, thank you. Let them know you love them. This is Trevor Cabrera. I, found a, I made a friend with the gentleman on the front row, so I got somebody I can pick on. I hope you don't mind. He just got married six months ago. Isn't that pretty awesome? Come on. Y'all got any kids yet? <laughs> All I'd ask. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, before we sing this next song. Oh, okay. I'm getting excited about the next song. Uh, my name is Elliot McCoy. I am the real McCoy. All right. Is there any hat fills here tonight? <laughs> oh, I got my robe. Get out. Is she armed? Are you? <laughs> Jesus, help me. All right. Oh, where's the back? Oh, Lord, Jesus. Gracious. In the back, too. I probably take her. What? What? What's she oh, saying? Oh, McCoy, okay. From Tennessee. You're a okay. McCoy? Good, Good deal. Y'all probably cousins. First cousin, I bet. <laughs> I was actually born in the Holy Lands, Pikeville, Kentucky. I made a friend with this beautiful little girl here. I, I, I've got five sons, my wife and I do, and we've got one princess. How many men in this audience have a daughter? I tell you, there ain't nothing like a daughter, is there? When they walk into the room, do they just light the room up? And I saw Zoe. Zoe, I love you. I hope your mama's lying about being a hat. Are there any more little girls in here? Right here. Yeah, what did I get her name? Addison, thanks for bringing them. Be okay if we sing just a verse and chorus of a song just to these little girls. Because they're here and I'm thankful that their mom and dad brought them. Amen? Amen. And if you, have, uh, if you have daughters, this is a song I encourage you to sing every time you see your daughter. Let's try it. Oh, y'all know. 